And welcome back to another episode of Enigmatica 6 Expert, where I just set up uh, like concrete pressing. Doesn't quite do exactly what I thought it was going to do. It's actually making slabs because that that must be a pressing recipe. Yeah, and it turns half a bucket into a slab, uh, which is fine because you can do this and end up with the, the full blocks, which we need the full blocks for crafting some stuff. Um, but slabs could actually be good for doing the floor of the base because then yeah obviously it's way cheaper so the only thing we're missing here is well we don't have infinite water set up yet uh but move these machines over from our our blaze power station thing and we're processing slag um and i think we should be all right on power i have uh flogged one of the energy cells from over there and just using xnet to pump power into it and for the moment we're just using basic universal cable which i know doesn't transfer power as much as xnet uh, but then i didn't have to set up another xnet system over here so for ease of use we're just going with mechanism we might need to upgrade the the cables uh, in the future and we also need to make sure we always have slag in here this is kind of going to Kind of going to go and do what we want. For a bit anyway. Um, I'll just leave all of this stuff processing. Uh, and it's eventually going to turn all of that into slag. Which we can then use uh, for making concrete. So yes, we've got concrete going. I suspect we probably ran out of... Oh, we ran out of water. That did not take long. Maybe we should get the create pump and just have infinite water going. I think I need to set that up. Uh, because... Uh, the the next quest is going to be a bit of a grindy one. I don't know that we're going to get it finished today, and actually because we need these medium machinery schematics. So this is going to be our next task. Probably not going to get it done today because there's a whole bunch of stuff we need to set up. We need to be making this engineer's school project. That means we need building materials, foundation materials, landscaping materials, engineering student meals, and construction tools. If we take a look at the first one, maybe building materials. A lot of copper. Although that's shingles, so that's... Yeah, it's not going to be super easy. We probably just need to get our immersive engineering furnaces fired up. We might even move them over to the factory. Uh, framed glass is just glass and iron, so that's not too bad. So this one I can't imagine is going to be too bad. It's not going to be great. I'm going to need 2,000 treated wood, so I doubt I have the creosote for that just yet. Foundation materials, this is where we need the concrete. So we need 1,500 concrete. We need a whole lot of steel. We could trade for steel that's yeah yeah we still need 500 steel that might not be a bad way to go um, or we do yeah maybe we move our recipe engineering stuff over clinker bricks we need a lot of bricks now let me can trade for these i can't see it here so maybe we can't trade for them anymore oh you trade for brick bricks from a mason tempting or of course we can smelt it we can go just harvest a bunch of clay. Yeah, so steel and concrete I think are going to be the two main ones for foundation ones. And there is some other stuff we need to get. Uh, food is going to be interesting. Well, it's only 60 times, so 60 builder's tea. Uh, leaves, water, milk. And heated. Maybe not too bad. Maybe some of the stuff actually, this is going to be not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Construction tools, that might be, I mean it's just a bit of plastic and steel, so that's even not too bad. Lubricant, we've, we've done something similar to this, again, not too bad. We're going to need that glycerol, cool, which is the thing I want to get anyway. But I think we should start with, I guess we start with these treated wood planks. We'll start with building materials. So let's just plonk him here. So we need... A lot of treated wood, a lot of copper, and framed glass. And we have to set up a 
a loop that's going to keep keep this thing running and we'll do some sort of filter maybe we just keep an eye on it because it should stop once we get to one of these so i think the first step uh is going to be firing all of these guys up uh we got some creosote oil wood isn't a problem because we got our wood bees uh producing plenty of wood actually i might just before we move all of this over let's find out how much wood do we actually have in terms of treated wood okay so we're at 1400 so we're 600 treated wood short uh but i think now i don't know if we have a lot of coal in here we don't um i mean i do need to repair my tools so i know we have bees that can get us coal but our mob farm does also generate a bit of coal and i haven't set any any coal up yeah, we should probably set up like some pretty pipes, just extracting into some <laughs> storage drawers for keeping stuff we do actually want. Probably not be a bad idea. Hmm. Hmm. So I think, yeah, we'll get a bunch of coal and get that fired up. I can't imagine we've got a lot of coal in here. No, I normally get a bit from mining. We got some... We could flog coal. Even that's not enough for three stacks of coal. Okay, so just a bit of an update as I've been doing a bit off camera. Um, trying to pump water all the way over to our concrete production just so we can get a bunch of it crafted because yeah, I definitely don't wanna don't wanna have to manually pump stuff. Um, I did take a quick look at an ender tank but that requires a bunch of stuff we haven't done yet. Well, actually, the only thing we're missing is this surprisingly substantial satchel. Um, the thing that was the hardest was the fact, probably just this ritual. Um, we need a bound book. Uh, however, we get that. And we also haven't quite got into infusing the star metal ore yet, although potentially not too bad. But anyhow, yeah, so set up this. Uh, I'm going to tidy this up in the future, but just trying to pump water. So because this water source is so big, it will treat it like an infinite water source. Uh, because there are things like sinks. Um, but that's, you know, Starlight Crafting, which we haven't gotten into. We need yeah, a bunch of stuff we don't have. I don't think these kitchen sinks are infinite water sources. Like, you wouldn't gate this one so much if these weren't. So, unless there's another infinite water source somewhere else, this might be the way to do it. So, just crafted this thing. This crank's just for lowering or raising the pump. And we're pumping out. So, it turns out, Oh, this was working. Oh, it's working again. Just because I played with it, it uh, started doing stuff. The water only goes this far. And then it doesn't do any more. So I'm hoping that we can do this. That definitely did not do what I wanted it to do. There. <laughs> Uh, so eventually the water is going to pump along to this. Uh, whether or not it's going to go further, we're about to test that out. So, I've made a whole bunch of shafts. And yes, we're going to do <laughs> this. And that, of course, is facing the wrong way, which is not ideal. Once the water gets here, does it continue on? It does. So it seems to go about 15 blocks. You can actually kind of see how far it goes. A 
looks like it might have stopped. It stopped here. So now what I don't know is, like it definitely doesn't go that far. But if we were to do this, does it pump that a little bit? Like I don't want to do too many pumps if I don't need to. Oh, mate. And it's overstressed. <laughs> the fact that we're going to be running this all the way over to the base might mean I end up... Um, running it off the windmill. Let's slow it down a bit. And he's away again. And it does pump out of there. Okay. Can we just quickly swap that? I want to see, you know, what's the what's the gap we can have between pumps. Yeah, between the pumps. Okay, so it can be all the way over here. That's interesting. I need more pipes, but yeah, I'd like to. Like the less of these we have to run, the better. I'll have a little bit of a play around. Okay, so it seems like these pumps will only push 15 blocks, um, which ended up being about here. So then I counted 15 blocks further and then put another pump and it seemed it's working. So then we could say that this is going to do 15 blocks, which should be about here. So it should pump either to this one or to this one. But that does mean we can count another 15 from this point. It should be about here. And if we put another pump there, so he's... Oh no, not like that, not like that. He's pumped to there and he won't pump any further. I think this was here. If this was being driven... I think it would then... Yes. Cool, so you can have a pretty decent gap. It's almost like a 32, 30 block, 30 block run. And, come on. Yes. <laughs> Pumping water from the ocean. And it sounds like stuff's happening. Cool. Now, this is probably going to be going faster than the pump can keep up. I mean, hey, all right, that's working. I'll say that that's working. Uh, time to go back to focusing on some other stuff. Okay, so things are processing. I just uh, converted all that creosote oil into treated planks, and we're sitting at 1905. So we're missing a hundred treated wood planks. They are going to be ready probably by the time I got everything else assembled. Um, now getting ready to process all of the honeycombs that I have been neglecting for quite a while. Uh, so this is going to be a lot of a lot of coal, which is nice. Um, oh, that should not be in there. Does it have stuff in it? Oh, it does. Um, I actually want. I want these because these are all of the honeycombs I haven't eaten and I can get the, the food bonus. Um, if we just quickly chuck that on the ground, we can insert. <laughs> nice. I'll go put that back over by the bees. So yeah, got these processing. I think we're good for power. I think we're good for power. We're good. We're good. Yeah, he's not even making full power, so that's pretty sweet. I uh, accidentally held on to that. Um, you know what, we'll just, we'll just buff that in there and we'll come deal with it later. Uh, but I need iron. Now, we did have a bunch of iron bees, actually. So we might have enough iron... 
Uh, and if we find the iron honeycomb, let's just grab all of it. Uh, and we can prioritize getting some iron. Uh, that'll be cool. So that's going to get us some iron. But I might also just go mining for some. And mining is a little bit annoying when we don't have a dank null. So we need four of them. And a black hole tank. Just need some more of this. Nice. A dank one. Which has a... You know, a limit of 256. Uh, we can't actually get the next tier. I've got everything except redstone honey blocks. Um, but we could breed a redstone bee uh, with an RGB and a city bee. We should do that if I can if I can get access to them. Um, and we'll just have that ticking along in the background because eventually we're going to want to do the whole dink null thing. Uh, the bees are all in their hives, so I kind of just have to catch them when they come out. Actually, we've got a sooty bee here and an RGB. Okay, and that was a block of coal and a flower. Let's let's breed them quickly. Hey, one redstone bee, and then I'll <laughs> keep going back and breeding those guys up. But I'm going to go do some mining and get a bunch of iron that way. And uh, yeah, that's for the frame glass. So we've got the dank. We can like set this to the different types of stones, and I think void pickup. I'll turn it off for now. Once we get void pickup, it'll automatically void like the stone that we don't want. This is way better. So not even filling up my inventory with jag. Perfect. That's a good point to stop. And we've got yeah. Got to be careful of double ups. Like I got a double up of uh, withered limestone, cobblestone, which is a little bit annoying. But I don't have another bit of stone to put in here yet, anyway. So I'm not too fast. Yeah, and then once we upgrade it, I think we get more slots as well. So that'll be handy. And uh, well, now to go back and collect all the actual stuff that we want. And this should get us, hopefully. Uh, maybe close to how many we need. Yes, so we need 2,000 treated wood planks. We now have them. So that part is done. Uh, framed glass, we needed 500. I'm short on iron. That's currently processing. We have, we have one stack. Um, glass, I did turn into... I still got a bit of process. I turned a lot of glass into glass bottles, and we've just got quite a few glass bottles in these chests. Um, just so these things can keep running, because that generally is what they run out of. We got a little bit more iron, I'll keep processing that. Uh, and I think, yeah, I've got the copper shingles. And then we just set up like a, a little bit of a production line. It's just going to keep looping around until we get one of these. And we need a cardboard box. I think I have some sawdust. I've got that sawdust. Ah, oh, pulverizer works. So we can come over here. And there we go. Enough for a cardboard box. Sweet. So... This will eventually get turned into the first. And actually, I think we need multiple of these building materials, don't we? We need five. Okay. Well, uh, okay, times everything that we thought we needed by five, and that's how many we actually need. So we need 10,000 treated wood. That, that might be an issue. <laughs> that might be an issue. Creosote. Uh, I guess we'll focus on getting this first run done. And then then we'll look at bulk creosote making. Copper shouldn't be too bad and iron and glass should be fine. It's mostly going to be the creosote for this is going to be the issue. Okay, so this is going to work. 
cool. I think. I think. So there might be a way to have a smaller one of these, but this is reasonably compact. I don't know if I want to spread some stuff out more. And then we just hopper our different types of items into these guys. So like three treated wood ones, then our frame glass and our copper things. Hopefully we've got enough iron and glass to get the bits we need. We might still be a little bit short. Didn't actually get much from my mining trip. We can just make as much of that as we can get. So we've got 332, so not enough. We need more iron. Oh, and you can totally uh, set this to only output concrete blocks. That's probably a better way of doing it. <laughs> than having to, you know, convert all of these. And the monstrosity begins. So this will only be kind of a temporary thing. Like we're only going to need to make one uh, engineer's school project. Because this unlocks the ability to form structures. So I'm assuming we only have to do it once. So here is all of that framed glass that we need. And that's going to start the process. So we can start this by grabbing our cardboard box. I think if we chuck this here. Uh, it didn't really do what I wanted it to do. Oh, the very first one is right. Planks, not 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 the glass. Right, so we actually have to keep an eye on the order. So that's the last one then. Okay. So starting from this one, we need our treated wood. Cool. Sweet. And if you end up setting up something like this, um, you want like one stack sitting inside the deployer and then you want to end up with one stack and 52 which we should get uh, once once this deployer fills up because uh, I did I had exactly 500 uh, frame glass and yeah we ended up with a full deployer full hopper and 64 and 52 on the chest and that's enough to get 500 of everything so I think we throw, we throw this down and we have to start over here. This is the very first thing. Okay, so I mucked up a little bit. It's not actually doing this one. Why are you not picking up this guy? It is working. Uh, but yeah, this isn't doing anything. Maybe this can't go where it is. So this should almost actually. I want to. I want to stop this. No, not that. Give me. Give me this. Sequence progress. Thirty-nine out of three thousand. Um. Um. No. I'm not sure why. Why it sometimes misses. <laughs> like this guy's never getting used. Occasionally, this guy doesn't get used. Oh no, it's just because he's... Yeah, I'm not sure what the deal with this is. Now, I could rearrange it. Um, now, I could rearrange it and maybe have a longer belt. But you know what? This is chunk loaded. It's going to take a very long time and we'll just leave him running. And he's eventually going to produce one of these. Uh, we need a whole bunch more treated wood, a whole bunch more of these, and a whole bunch more of these, which I'll probably work on in between episodes because uh, it's kind of just a waiting game. But we've started work on our engineer's school project. First, I think probably the first big grind, unless you can't build in the factory, which hasn't started yet. That's also going to take a while. Uh, yeah, at some stage we'll work on the factory. I'm definitely not going to just work on this massive plank flap it. So I need to look at a design. I'm thinking maybe granite? Granite bricks? You can mix in some, some regular bricks? I don't know. We'll figure it out, but uh, hey, it's been Classic Duff. Thanks for watching. We'll come back next time and continue working on our engineer's school project.